Начали! Yeah, so I didn't really have a witty way to start today's episode of Source TV. But now I have your attention, let's talk about SEO. So I think you can tell after looking at the title of the email you got sent or the title of this post, there's gonna be a pretty dramatic focus for today's episode. And what I'm gonna be showing you today is something that's just gonna blow your mind. Uh, no real catchy build up ahead of it. Just basically what I'm gonna be showing you is how I took a website from absolute nothing and then four days later had it ranked first page of Google for four massive keywords. Each of these keywords was getting anywhere or is getting anywhere from 10,000 to 30,000 searches per month. Pretty cool. And then on top of that, what I'm gonna be doing in the next few days is also showing you how I ranked first in Google for the term SEO outsourcing. What you're gonna be seeing in these case studies is a little just how I set up the site, the backlinks I use, everything broken down, laid out for you so you can go and get the same results for yourself. And uh, overall, I think that's just some pretty cool shit to share with you guys. So no real dramatic buildup, no big motivational rant like there usually is in Source TV. Let's just hop straight over to my browser and kind of get into all that kind of stuff. Well, hey there, guys. This is Becker, and we're going to watch more funny videos on YouTube. Screw this. All right, all right. We're not going to. We're not going to do that. What we're going to be focused on today is kind of something I built on with the last case study I showed you, which is where I ranked for the term right here, Bleach Episode Guide, 14,000 searches per month. You can see 9,000 local monthly searches, not a small term at all. And I was able to rank for that in about 24 hours. But the big ending message of that video was one, you can do this over and over again with little to no effort. There was literally nothing on the site. And two, imagine if you went out and did this every single day or you just did this all in one day. You could literally just do this with four different huge keywords all at the same time. So what we're looking on right here is four different huge keywords. You can see the lowest one right here has 8,000 searches per month um, globally. So neither none of these keywords are small, irrelevant keywords. And before anybody asks, uh, this was a big question that showed up last time, how would I monetize this? Well, the way I would go and monetize this, you know, if someone goes into Google and they want to watch their favorite TV show online, well, there's this handy dandy thing called Hulu that basically allows you to go and watch your TV shows online. It's kind of a match made in heaven, and they literally pay $7 for every free subscriber you send them. All right, a lot of those searches right there, if I got um, one tenth of the search volume I'd be getting, I don't, I'm not going to do math, let's just say I'd be getting 300 visitors a day at a 10% conversion, let's say 5% conversion rate, say I absolutely suck at monetizing my site and I monetize it like, I don't know, people on the war forum or something. Um, if I went out there had a 5% conversion on 300 visitors, that would be 15 visitors a day and that would be 7 times, that would be like 70, let's just say 50 bucks a day, alright, 7 times 15, let's just say around 50 to 100 bucks a day. That's really freaking good. That's really freaking good. Now, let's just assume I, I convert it 2%. That's still a site that makes me a solid passive income, just a little nice passive income with little to no effort. All right, so if I were to rank for all those keywords that I just showed you, these ones right here, um, 14,000, 18,000, 40,000 searches per month, um, 8,000 searches per month, that would just be absolutely dandy, wouldn't it? Well, guys, what we're going to look at today is a site that's essentially done just that. I've literally put in about five minutes in the site I'm about to show you. So you can see right here, we're looking at the increase in rankings for a site that targeted all four of these keywords right here. You can see Watch Archer Online, it's actually first page of Google right now, that's 40,000 search per month, list, bleach, uh, list of bleach episodes person obviously wanted to watch that TV show Bleach, which is very featured on Hulu, hence why I'm targeting it. Again, fourth in Google. Uh, you can see right here, Watch Bleach Online. I believe that is a 18,000 search per month search, 5,400 locally. Go right here. Um, from nothing all the way up to, let's say, I think it's like sixth in Google right now. And you can see Bleach Episode Guide went up to here, seventh in Google. It's, it's around the 12th spot right now. <laughs> I guess I fail miserably. But anyways, the cool thing you want to look at right here, guys, and the big overall message that I want to walk away with this is even if I choose not to monetize and really run with this site, look at how much reward I got for essentially little to no work, which I'm about to show you everything that went into the site. You can see right here on the starting rank on all of these searches right here, by the 25th, most of them are all first page of Google, all right? And I literally started the site maybe on like the 19th. So it technically was not a four day ranking, but I was really taking my time and put about maybe 10 minutes into this site and rank for all these searches. So let's go look at this site, all right? So first off, big takeaway right there, look what you could do all with just one website. I wouldn't have to make 18 different sniper sites or you have EMD sites to do this. So this site essentially is called, let me pull it up. So this site is called 
watch things online. You can see the biggest search right here, watch Archer Online, 40,000 searches per month. Again, no effort on the site. What you're about to see is about to make you laugh, all right? And you can see literally the site is called Watch Things Online. And I have the page right here, Watch Things Online. Now the really funny thing is this is another case study site of mine. I'm ranking with just like comment backlinks and stuff right now. You can see there's nothing on it. All right, that's a 40,000 search per month term that I can easily monetize with Hulu because people who type in Watch Archer Online would like to watch Archer Online perhaps on Hulu. All right, remember we're aiming for like a 3% conversion rate. So go back over here, go back to the same page on the site and I'm about to really just piss off everybody that's ever been the SEO Moz ever. Check this out. There's no content on this page whatsoever. That's the reason why this page right here is not ranked higher on Google. There's just no content in it, right? <laughs> I didn't do anything to it. So first thing, second takeaway, all right, you don't have to put work in the sites anymore to rank in Google, all right? So keep that in mind. What it's all about really, once you actually build the site, then that's going to boost the rankings. But you can see just same thing right here again. All right, I did it with two sites right there. That's 40,000 search for month search. Literally did that in about four days. Now the cool thing I also want to show you guys is also how I built what I like to call a silo. All right, or you guys have probably heard the term. I like to call these skylos because they are skeleton silos. All right, there's literally nothing on these sites. And you can see what I've done right here. I've gone and basically made a silo site with three different silos right here. And what siloing basically is is where you link all the pages on your site together and then you link them basically just in a constant loop. All right, so I'm going to walk you through this right now. So this is the third takeaway I want you to get from this video um, on what's going on right here. So basically you see right here, this is what I like to call the top of my silo. All right, you can see we are ranked, I think, sixth in Google for Watch Bleach Online. Really highly searched, all right? You can see what I've done on this page is what I consider to be the only essential stuff that you need to put on a on page right now. I've proven this over and over and over again. This is not me pulling something out of my ass. This is something that's been tested over and over and over and over again by myself. So you see what's going on right here. I put the uh, keyword, you know, that thing we're ranking for, that search, um, and I put that as an H1 tags. All right, so you can see right there, H1 tags. I go out there, I grab a relevant YouTube video from uh, that YouTube place. <laughs> that's where we saw that grenade video just a few lovely minutes ago, and I put that on there. It has to be relevant to it right there. So what I consider that, that's basically kind of what Google's looking for. They really like YouTube right now. Also, this is just, you know, what, what works. I've seen work over and over again. Then what I do is I link out to an authority site. You can see right here, linking out to bleachwiki.com. It's like the Wikipedia of Bleach. And then what I do is I link to the next page in my silo. All right, so you can see right here, this is where the kind of silo begins. You can see I've done the same exact thing on this page. Same exact carbon-coded thing. Same exact carbon-coded thing. All right, just want to lay that out. Really just really just it's copy and paste copy and paste copy and paste this took me about five seconds to do and you can see what I've done is I've again linked to the next page in the silo all right you go right here you see list of bleach episode guides and then what I basically do is I link back to the home page of the site all right so while how do how does that work why the hell did I do that and why is it causing a ranking like that so quickly with just one or two backlinks all right there's very few backlinks going to this page uh, there's, there's a site-wide actual link by going to this page, but from actual links I've built, there's next to no um, work link involved going to this page. So you can go right here, and what happens, guys, is say I send a PR link, or I send a high PR link, and by the way, there's a link to how to build great PR links. Uh, there's a huge guide, it's a 4,000 word guide I've made for you 100% for free. All right, if you if you would enjoy that, go to the side on the sidebar now and like SourceWave because we do jolly nice things for you. But imagine if I send a PR link to this page right here. The link juice and how it goes to the site will go to the next page in my silo. All right, and then it will go to my next page in the silo. All right, because all the pages are linked together. You see that? And then what happens is the link juice goes all the way back around to the top of my website. All right, because my last page in my silo, right, you see it just it links from page to page to page, and then the last page and kind of the silo links back to the home page. All right, so what I want to do real quick is kind of draw you just a little Venn diagram of what's going on right here. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do real quick on top of this, because I really want you to walk away with some just well, good knowledge from this, is I'm going to go and I'm essentially going to kind of build a silo graph in front of you. All right, so what we got going on right here, guys, is imagine this is the top page of my site. This page links to this page. This page links to this page. 
And yes, this is all artistically done. I wish I just had like a little marker so I could just draw everywhere. But anyways, what's going to happen, guys, is let me grab a handy-dandy arrow right here from my complicated Microsoft PowerPoint software thingamajig right here. And what happens is this page links to this page. This page links to this page. And then this bottom page right here goes here, links up to here, to the imaginary land, all right? And that's just, that's just connecting them, all right? It's not actually linking anywhere. But you can see, if I build a link to this top page right here, the juice goes this page, to this page, to this page, and then back up to the first page. So it traps the juice effectively in the site and just creates it so whenever I build a link to any page of my site, it supports the whole entire site. And when you do that, guys, essentially what happens is every page on your site essentially ranks at the same time. And you can see I put very little work into the site and I'm about to show you kind of the backlinks that I created. And you can see because of how the site is built and how I kind of understand what Google's looking for, I'm not, I'm not pulling stuff out of my ass. I'm actually saying, hmm, this is what causes result A and this is what happens when you do this and result B happens therefore. You know, using common sense instead of mental masturbation to rank my sites. But you see, when you do that, you can essentially rank an entire site for tons of keywords at the same time. You know, that's just, you've seen this volume in these keywords. It's, the site's already getting hundreds of visitors a day, and I'm just, I'm just doing it to show off. Or I'd imagine what happens when, you know, actually get to work. But that's just something I want you to really take away uh, and get excited about. So just a really quick cool case study on how you can go from zero traffic to 100 visitors a day for sites you can monetize. You saw it, all I have to do is get people to take free trials of Hulu. Excellent. <laughs> I'll do that all day long. It's pretty easy to sell something for free from your website. And boom, just like that. It's something you can do very, very easily, guys. So just wanted to come out here and kind of um, dance all over SEO theories and stuff like that again for you guys. Now, what type of backlinks did I use for the site? Let me go and show you just a few backlinks that I built to this website. Now guys, what I really just wanted to show you right here was a backlink I built from the site. And I just literally built this from a high PR site of my own on the site. And what I essentially did is I just went and placed links from, from this site to another site. This is a high PR site that I bought. And you can see what I did right here. I literally just went in and built Anchor Tech links. It's that easy. Right, it's literally that easy. This took me literally three minutes of work to do. And that's why, you know, it really frustrates me when I see people struggling with SEO because it's just such an absolute kind of, it's, it's not as challenging, right, as people are led to believe on places like that. So with all that being said, guys, this is just essentially just a PR site right here. This is a PR4 website, I believe, that I set up. And I put a few little videos on here. There's a, just a few links. And, um... There's very, very few links going to the site, guys. You can see it's almost all exclusive from this page right here. So that being said, guys, this is basically a short case study of how in short, just little time, I essentially just from scratch, three minutes of work, I'm able to make a site that's getting hundreds of visitors a day. It's just that easy, guys. Uh, the kind of closing message to all this is that SEO doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to be something that's frustrating. It doesn't have to be that cluster shit you see on the warrior form every day or on other forms excuse my french it's just a straightforward point a find out what happens when you press one button and then press that button over and over again kind of thing hopefully this right here kind of help break down and kind of solve some issues for you so with all that in mind guys this has been alex becker and you guys will be seeing another cool case study here in a few days and how i rank for seo outsourcing in four days literally go to google right now type in SEO outsourcing, you'll see my big smiling face. So thanks so much for watching this, guys. Be sure to go below, subscribe to SourceWave. Uh, you get cool stuff like this in your email every day. I mean, if you like this information, you should, should subscribe. It, <laughs> it makes sense. And I'd really like it if you went and liked SourceWave so that I can get some social proof to share all my friends to make them know that I'm doing okay in life. So thank you so much, guys. This is Alex Becker. I will catch you later.